All right, I want to show how to ac uh, gain access to some of the add-ins that are useful for energy systems analysis and design. Um, there are two ways that you can do this. Uh, if you have, well, well, let me start with the, the second way, uh, and that is um, for people that are primarily um, that, that use uh, Mac type systems uh, because the Windows based installation uh, is the best I think but if you don't have a compatible version of Windows you may need to use this uh, alternate spreadsheet so First of all, let me introduce you to this website that's called Excel in ME. Uh, if you have trouble finding it, uh, if you ask Google about Excel in ME, which is like Excel in mechanical engineering, uh, the first couple of hits that come up is, is what we're talking about. The, the first one seems to be directly to the thermo section of this site, but the second one is the, the main link to the site. So if you go to go to this website, uh, it looks it looks like this: Excel in mechanical engineering. And on the left, there are some uh, links, and the one that you want to follow is the one that goes to thermal systems. And uh, so you can see it's about energy systems analysis and design. And so that's what these tools are, are for. But uh, again, coming down to how to gain access to these uh, functions that we're going to uh, use, if you don't have a, a Windows based system uh, then you'll want to use these uh, spreadsheets that are predefined uh, and, and let me show it to you so heat transfer underscore Mac dot XLSM what it means is that it's a, a macro enabled workbook and you could use this as a template and as it says here is that it contains the heat transfer modules the ones that are called ME415 and then another one called air water properties uh, in English and so um, if I open this I'll, I'll try to uh, Okay, maybe it'll do, download it. Yeah, here we go. So it's going to open this, and uh, I want to open it with Excel. That's perfect. And then when I do that, the the what what got opened is this version over here. So you know, caution. This came from the internet. This could be a problem. Well, it's okay. So just enable editing. Uh, this page that it opens to is what is going to be available as the the help files uh, help the thumbnails if you will uh, for these different functions and so what's listed here it, this, this identifier in the first column is fairly meaningless but the uh, uh, second column gives you the name of the uh, Excel function uh, the macro uh, that uh, and then over here gives you some information about it so it's got heat exchanger effectiveness, heat exchanger NTU. Um, it has uh, some stuff about uh, calculating Nusselt number for different uh, flow situations. Uh, it has some functions to evaluate the properties of air and water in, in English units. And then it also has some functions that will help us uh, evaluate the friction factors in, in piping and in, in and so forth. So uh, to, to use this uh, function, uh, I'm going to try to do this. If you, if you open this as a template and then maybe you want to go in here and you want to know the um, friction factor 
for using the Churchill relationship. Um, and you know that the epsilon over D is uh, 0, 0, 0, 0005 and the Reynolds number is, is uh, 100,000. Then you can just type in that formula and you'll get the value for the, the friction factor uh, for, for that case. So um, again, but, but, but how do you know how that function works? Well, the only way to know in, in this uh, spreadsheet environment is to go back over here to this uh, and find, find it in this list and say, oh, here's friction Chur Churchill. Uh, input arguments of epsilon roughness diameter and Reynolds number. Uh, so it's actually not a very precise description because the first argument is actually epsilon divided by diameter and the second argument is the, the Reynolds number. So this is what's available really for Mac users because the Macintosh version doesn't have some of the uh, features that are necessary to um, activate the what I'm calling the online help. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm ta talking about the workaround first, and now we'll talk about how to make the Windows version of this um, of these add-ins work for you. Okay, so if you have a, a, a Mac or a, just a non-Windows version, you, you do need to be able to uh, run uh, macros and, and so you'll, you'll need to uh, be able to use VBA. Uh, this won't work on some Linux based uh, open studio, open uh, office type uh, environment. Okay, so now we want to go back to say, well, okay, I have a Windows computer. I, I would like to uh, use the, the Windows based uh, installation. If you come back to this Excel and ME website under the Thermal Systems tab, and the one that's kind of far down the page here, it says ME415. Uh, the reason it has that name is that used to be the course number for uh, Energy Systems course here at uh, University of Alabama, but um, now now uh, it's, it has a different course number. Regardless, if you get this MSI, Microsoft Installer File, that's all you need. And if you will just, uh, I guess you have to save it somewhere first. Uh, and then once you've done that, um, then you need to go and, and run it. So if we open this file, uh, and run it, and, you know, if you have Windows 10, you're going to get some nice protection. And uh, your only option appears to be don't run. Well, go to more info and say, well, maybe this is okay. Because it is. It's not going to do anything bad. And when you do this, it's going to bring up the dialog box about what you want to do. I have previously installed this, so he's, he's given me the option to, you know, repair that or, or remove it. And I'm just, I'll tell him i repair. So let's, it, it should go through now and uh, just uh, recopy those files. What this does is it will create a uh, folder on your system drive, your, your C partition in most cases. Uh, and the, the, that, that folder is called add-ins, A-D-D hyphen I-N-S, add-ins. And it will copy in there several files, uh, M415 help, air water properties English, air water, uh, well, that one was already here, the heat transfer dot C-H-M, heat transfer dot X-L-A-M, uh, and me415 add-in.xlam. So uh, the, all those will get copied into this folder called add-ins. Um, in order to use these, you'll have to go into Excel and 
tell Excel it's okay to, to work with these. And so um, I will do that in, uh, in Excel. So by opening Excel, uh, you want to make sure this developer tab is, is available to you. And you can get to that from the options, uh, file options. And then you want to make sure on the uh, customized ribbon that the developer tab is checked here. So, so that's one thing is you want to have access to the developer tab. The second thing is in, in these Excel options, you'll need to go into the trust center and tell Excel it, it's okay to, to trust uh, what this workbook is doing, what's going on here. So specifically, we need to go to Trust Center, Trust Center Settings over here on the right. And in the Trust Center set Settings, we want to look at some macro settings. And under these macro settings, we are going to enable macros, but we also need to trust access to the VBA Project Object Module. So this is typically not checked and typically uh, disable all macros is, is checked. But you need to enable all macros and trust access to the VBA project object model. Uh, model. When you do those things, then when you go to activate those add-ins, they can automatically initialize, which uh, several of them need to do. So that's the uh, prerequisite step. Once you've done that, if you now come to the Developer tab and go to Excel Add-ins, then you want to choose uh, the add-ins that you want to activate. And uh, the ones that we want to activate are Air Water Properties English uh, and ME415 add-in and we don't need it now, but later in uh, energy systems, we'll want access to the heat transfer add-in. So air water properties English, heat transfer, and ME415 add-in. And when we do that, uh, you likely or you actually should see some, uh, well, I can't get these to show here. see some uh, splash screens that show the um, that these add-ins have been activated. You'll get a little box that'll pop up and say ME415 add-in and then a little box pops up that says uh, heat transfer add-in and so you'll be able to get some uh, feedback that tells you that those are now available. Okay, so having gone to all that trouble, what, what do you get for it? Well, now, inside this Windows environment, if we go to explore functions that are available in, inside uh, the Excel for Windows, if you click on this and now look at, it says you want to insert a function, what category do you want? Well, most recently used, no, we want to actually go to the bottom of this list. And you can see that there are some special categories that have been added for air, water, English, uh, heat transfer, and ME415. And so what this uh, does is it gives you a way to see what the functions are that are available. And those little descriptions that we talked about that were on that one sheet in the uh, Mac version workaround, uh, those pop up here and so you can kind of browse through the functions and see what they're about uh, to pick out which one which one you need. Uh, the second thing I can tell you and I hope this works uh, is that these help functions are then linked to that uh, .chm file, the compiled help uh, module uh, that, that was uh, included and so if we click on, for example, Friction Churchill and, and ask for help on this function, uh, it does bring up the little uh, Windows uh, help manual and it gives us a little description about the, the Churchill uh, function. And this is a little more in depth 
than just that little thumbnail help that, that pops up over here. So there's an opportunity to provide you a little bit more information about those functions through, through the Windows environment. Okay, so uh, just wanted to talk about uh, the steps that you needed to take to get access to these functions um, that in the uh, Macintosh environment, the best thing to do is just get that template spreadsheet and then for each project that you start, each, each homework assignment or each, uh, each project that you're working on, just start with that blank template and then uh, you can you can work it there. In the Windows environment, uh, if you'll use that Microsoft installer file, that .msi file, uh, that will load all the modules onto your PC. But then you do need to go into Excel and do those customizations. You have to well, it's recommended that you uh, add the developer tab to your ribbon. And also, uh, in order for the macros uh, to initialize properly, you need to go to the Trust Center and um, enable uh, macros and also enable access to the uh, VBA model. Trust the VBA uh, model on that page. Okay, so that's it. Just a quick overview on what you need to do to gain access to the functions that you'll be using um, in energy systems analysis.